Hey YouTube, uh, it's been a while and uh, we're going to upgrade the storage on the server since I've been playing with this R620 with uh, individual SSDs, different sizes, because I just needed to uh, buy some drives. So we're going to keep some SSDs and some 10K 600 gigabyte SAS drives. So you guys can see, server's powered off. We have these two drives, I'll show you guys, are Intel 6 gigabyte, 60 gigabyte disks, and these just house the um, ESXi and stuff like that. I might put it on a USB drive, but here we're going to replace um, these four drives with uh, one of these. This is a 600 gigabyte uh, SAS drive. 10k RPM. So we're gonna find out which um, of these drives are what. That way we can build a proper RAID. So we got my 256 GB Samsung AV Pros, which we're gonna keep those as well as that one. This one is a 120 gigabyte SSD Kingston, as well as this one. And let's see what these ones are. This is the 480 gigabyte disk that I have. 120. Okay. So we might actually take these two drives, these two, and use these for performance only. So this array here will be RAID 0, as these ones will probably make a RAID 6 or 5. So we're going to insert the two Samsung EV Pros into slot number 3 and then the other one into here and the server's still off it just it notified itself because I hit the iDrive so I'm gonna pause the video and then open up the drives so we got the drives opened up and then we're gonna install them And then the same video will show you guys how to build a RAID on R620. It's pretty similar to an R610, 10th, 11th generation servers. So we got these drives, the 600 gigabyte. This will be the mirror of, it'll be not mirror, it'll be a RAID 0 for performance VMs. And they, so I guess they do get backed up. They get backed up to a cloud storage and to that passport right there. So there's two types of backups. So we're going to take these and put them away. So we got that installed, and uh, now we're just gonna fire up the server and log in. So we're gonna fire up the server, and these are fairly very quiet. Only the boot up is pretty loud. These drives are being initialized. SSDs do not blink in. Uh, these types of servers, the only thing that blinks is the activity light. SAS drives will always uh, have the uh, drive. So once the SSD loads in, they usually don't have like an instant content, like, like a constant or like an activity blink. They're actually sometimes more solid than anything. So we're booting up into the iDrive. This is the latest uh, BIOS for the R6, R620s. And the server has, these are the specs for it, two 8-core uh, Xeons, 320 gigs of RAM, DDR3. Um, it's a lot of RAM for one server, I know. There we go. So we're gonna, so here it's asking us, I think I hit it right, let's find out. I think I hit control R. Yes, we did. Okay. So, this is the data rate 40, which was previously built, but we're going to rebuild it. 
Yes. So this is my operating system right now. I'm not going to format that one because it's just going to give me more headroom headache to redo that. So we're going to make the RAID 0, which is going to be this one. We're going to label this RAID 0 and keep everything else def default values. Always want to initialize the drives after building the RAID. If you don't, it won't boot up properly. There we go. Come over here, then you're going to hit F2. Initialize. And you could do a fast initialize because the server will later continue doing the fast initialization, but for SSDs, it's fairly quick. Spindle drives take the longest. So we're going to configure these four 600 GB drives. And yes, they only show 558 up here because of all the good old fun stuff that the drives get taken. So we're going to see which is better. So we have 1.6 terabytes there. Oh, we lost a lot. We have 1.1 terabytes. So we're just going to show you guys all the values. And for rate for performance, I should probably do RAID 10. So that's what probably we'll do. Since this server is going to be more of like a uh, test bed, a lot of critical servers. So we're going to do RAID 10 and uh, keep it at 1.1 terabytes. That way we have enough storage for uh, some VMs. So we're going to do enable it read 10 and then click OK. And we're going to go over here and initialize the disk. F2. Yes. So now we built our drives. Everything's complete. We can exit it, and then you do control to, to reboot. And that is how you guys add storage to an R620. So, thanks for watching, subscribe, and stay tuned for more VMware videos coming up soon. Thanks, bye.